little uh, arty action, Braver Love, featuring Conrad Suell. Pretty good stuff from the uh, Tomorrowland remix. So I was like, okay, whatever, you know, Tomorrowland's good people and uh, love a pizza, a pizza, whatever they say in uh, Spain. Okay, so um, a little college football review, just a quick rundown. Uh, told you guys I was going to stay accountable this week and uh, jot my picks down. Uh, no surprise with the dogs over uh, Arkansas. I said they would win by 13. They won by 37, and they shut out Arkansas. So their defense, uh, what can you say? Pretty pretty solid. Probably, you know, between them and Alabama, one and two in the SEC, hands down. No one else is really even close uh, right now, it doesn't seem like, anyway. Um, so, you know, that's going to be a really good SEC championship, but we're going to have to wait for, you know, well over a month to see that. Um, unless something changes, you know, a lot can happen between now and then, obviously, with injuries and whatnot. Uh, Wisconsin did not beat Michigan. Michigan, you know, Jim Harbaugh said, okay, we're actually going to play football this year. And they beat Wisconsin at Wisconsin 38 to 17. This is the one where I was like, you know, I would choose Michigan because they're undefeated. But Wisconsin has two losses against two very good teams. Like, at least I thought they were pretty good. Notre Dame and uh, Penn State. Penn State still could be very good. They beat Auburn, you know. Um, if anybody, I think they're the better team than Notre Dame. Um, Wisconsin lost to Notre Dame at Soldier Field. Chicago is a neutral site. A lot of people did not see that one coming. And I got to say, you know, um, I've, I just I, – I don't know what to say. The Irish lost this weekend to uh, Cincinnati. I actually took ND to win by six just because Cincinnati. Like, they don't really play in a tough conference. And, yes, they were undefeated. Yes, they still are. And a lot of people are saying, you know, at the end of the season, we're going to have to look at them and see if they're worthy of getting in the playoff if they're still undefeated just because they have a couple of good wins, right? They've beaten Notre Dame, and I guess they beat somebody else. I don't know. I don't really see it. I think you have to play in a tough conference, but Cincinnati did end up winning. So, um, so far I've lost two, but wait till you see this. Uh, Bama did win. I picked them. Stanford did win. I picked them. So a lot of people were like, no, dude, Oregon, Oregon's the best team in the pack. They're going to just run the conference out there. Forget about it. But I was skeptical because I thought, you know, playing in Palo Alto, you know, I said, uh, He's a very good coach out there, and he's going to have those guys ready. Um, you know, I've, I've got nothing but respect for their athletic programs and especially their football team over the years been very good. They had a couple tough losses, like Kansas State, I think they lost to, and, and UCLA, I guess, who's really the, maybe the best team out in the Pac-12. Um, but, you know, I like, I like Stanford a lot, and I think uh, that was a good one for them as an upset for sure. And I did pick them. So that's awesome to see. Now, Oklahoma did win uh, at Manhattan and against K-State. Good win for them. They're definitely very much still in the playoff picture. So it was important for them to get a win. Oklahoma State, I said um, I said for Doug, for Doug Gottlieb, they would do it. They did. Um, UF by 10. They did not win at Kentucky. That's one of my few losses this week. I think... Florida is just about the most dynamic team in the SEC. I think really the Alabama offense is really good. The Georgia offense has been really good as well, but it's the defense I think most people are talking about right now. Um, Florida's got two really good quarterbacks that would be starters anywhere in the country, two very different quarterbacks, but two very good quarterbacks. And, you know, I really thought that they would um, – Play Kentucky well. I thought Missouri should have beat Kentucky at Kentucky a couple weeks or a few weeks back now. And I was a little surprised that the uh, Gators went in there and lost. Now, Kentucky, they're, they're a good team, but still, you know, a lot of the football left. They still have to play Georgia. They still have to play, um, I don't know who their cross conference games are against. You know, they're, whoever they're playing in the SEC West, they might have to play, you know, like AM. They might even have to play Bama. So, you know, Kentucky is undefeated, you know, but probably ranked this week. They were not ranked last week. After you beat Florida, I think you become ranked. I don't know what they are, but probably top 20 or maybe right at 20, something like that. I just don't see how it lasting. I don't see how it would last very much longer, in other words. Um, so keep an eye on Kentucky, but 
Um, a and M by ten. They did, I think, get the job done. Yes, yes. Um, LSU by four. Auburn won, and I. But this is one that I circled and I said I think Auburn could win, because if you remember a couple years back when LSU won at all, this game was also in Baton Rouge, and Auburn almost won that game. I think it went to overtime. So I, you know, Auburn seems to play well in Baton Rouge. Uh, a lot of recruits come from Louisiana. You know, they've got that hotbed of recruiting in Louisiana. It's really weird that LSU is not as good as they are after winning the national championship. You know, the reason before they when they won the national championship a long time ago, like when I was a freshman in high school, for example, the reason they weren't that well, they didn't play that well afterwards, I believe, is because what? Like a lot of the recruits were from Saban and then you had the, the Mad Hatter come in. So there's a little bit of a lapse in recruiting. But this is all under one guy. It's Ed Orgeron. So I, people have a lot of good things to say about Ed uh, down in Louisiana, but some are saying, you know, if we don't get it together, we've got to do something. And it would be a shame because, you know, uh, Bill Plasky wrote that really good article in the LA Times, you know, right after they won the uh, national championship saying, why do we let this guy go? You know, he could have been a savior at, at USC, yada, yada, yada. Well, hey, it's not looking so hot right now at, uh, in Baton Rouge. Now, there's a lot of football left for them. I think they still play, obviously, Alabama. They, I think they still play AM, and uh, maybe even Florida still. So really tough schedule from here on out for the LSU Tigers. For the Auburn Tigers, you know, obviously they still have Bama. They play in the Iron Bowl every year. But the Auburn's got a couple other games in the SEC West. SEC West is loaded. You know, Ole Miss might not be as good as we thought, you know, going to Bama and losing um, by a lot. Like, I, I thought it would be a little closer. But, you know, Lane Kiffin will probably find a way to win some close games the rest of the way. Uh, Missouri. No, let's go to LSU first. LSU, UCLA. UCLA by 17. I believe that happened. UCLA did win. They're a very good team. I like them in the Pac-12 South. Right. Okay. MIZ by nine, I said, against Tennessee. Because you know what? We play them well, always. Like, we always seem to play Tennessee really well. However, um, we don't seem to have any linebackers that can tackle. We don't seem to have any secondary that can come down and get off their blocks. Um, the, the schemes are kind of weird. I'm not sure what we're doing. Uh, we did not fire a defensive coordinator after we proceeded to lose by what, 62 to 24, I believe the score was. So pretty bad, pretty bad indeed. And I just don't see how you don't do anything after that, uh, aside from fire a defensive line coach. You know? um, maybe you, you have, you know, head coaching, maybe you think you have to do something, but you're not ready to do a lot. And maybe that's, the something. It's kind of weird to me. I, I, I definitely would have gone in a different direction here. I think um, we'll have to wait and see. But, you know, there's a lot of – Paul Feinbaum was talking about it yesterday. And I was going to go on the show, and I said, no, don't. You know, uh, he, he, he told me, he said, let, let Greg and I talk about this game. And I don't want you to say anything you'll regret. You're on campus. I don't want you to get killed. Okay, so that's fine. Um, well, him and Greg McElroy were talking about it, but – they hit it lightly, but Paul did have to say this. He said the Missouri Tigers probably at two or three in the SEC East going into the season. We thought they were going to be much improved, second year under Coach Drinkwitz, and second or third in the East definitely, you know, looked looked like it was a real possibility. Second or third. And and we lost Kentucky. Now we've managed to lose to Tennessee. And not just lose, but get blown out. I mean, just terrible. The worst loss I've ever seen in the stadium since probably 2002. I mean, it's been pretty bad. Uh, we've had some bad losses here, but this, this is by far the worst. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what happens the rest of the way. You know, only Vanderbilt's worst maybe in the entire SEC. Um, gonna have to win some games, gonna have to figure it out defensively and uh, hope that uh, the new defensive line coach can figure that one out because uh, I'm just not sure that that's, that's the right way to go. But, you know, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not on the practice field. Sometimes I'm on the track right by the field, but I'm not on the practice field. <laughs> I like to go for a jog. Okay. Uh, anyway, so Vanderbilt by three, I believe Vandy did win. I didn't even check on that. I figured they would probably take care of business against an 0-5 UConn team. Fair to say, right? Uh, Clemson, I think they won. 
I don't know. Yeah, I think they did win. So they played Boston College, and a lot of people were saying, you know, Boston College looks pretty good. You know, they had it. It was a really close first half, maybe even close three quarters. I, I don't know. But uh, they played Missouri really well. They, they Missouri made them look like uh, the best team in the ACC. And this past week, Missouri made Tennessee look like the best team in the SEC. But I just, man so much crap going on i just i i really wish we get it right i wish we get some wins and it's a shame so anyway uh i was 10 and 4 when i look back at these scores that i know for sure i was 10 and 4 so 10 wins four losses i think that's a pretty solid record you know i think a lot of college football teams if they went 10 and 4 every year like they'd be pretty satisfied with that however not many play 14 games so it'd be very difficult um but uh let's see Couple stories, baseball. Yes, um, you know I was pretty excited about both wild card games. I think they both offer a lot to fans of baseball. Yankees and Red Sox. A lot of people love that game, and it's been a great game over the years. I think um, I think the Red Sox are have something to prove. I think they get overshadowed by the Yankees and that rivalry always. But you know they've had a better year really than the Yankees. However. Um, the Yankees have played better lately, and the Yankees have, I think, beaten them the last five out of six, in the last six or seven games. The Yankees won five of them, I believe. So when you look at it like that, yes, it's in Boston. Yes, Garrett Cole's. There's been some things that his starts sometimes don't look Garrett Cole esque, but I think in a wild card game, I think you have your bats ready. So does Boston. But I think the Yankees are the better team. It's tonight at 8 o'clock, uh, central, 7 Central. And I'm just, you know, I, it would be hard for me, given that payroll, given the fact that they've come together kind of August, September, really gotten it going. Really after the All-Star break, they've just looked a lot better. Um, and their offense should carry them. And uh, But if Garrett Cole can just give you six innings, I think you get somebody else in the bullpen. Um, you know, you get Loisa get back. So Chappie's looking good. Um Closing in the closing spot again. So I, I, I like the Yankees to win this game. I think they will. But I wouldn't be surprised if Boston does. I mean, in one game, anything could happen. Tomorrow night, of course, Dodgers and Cardinals. And a lot of people are saying, you know, you don't just win 17 games in a row and, and are not favored to win. But I think it's the Dodgers. So it's going to be tough for the Cardinals to get this win, even with Adam Wainwright. You know, the Dodgers have Scherzer. They'll probably have somebody in the bullpen, uh, Walker Bueller. You know, and those are two really solid pitchers. And not that Wainwright's not. He's uncle, old Uncle Charlie's doing a hell of a job in 2021. He's coming back for 2022, which is great to see. But I just don't know that at Dodger Stadium, where the Dodgers seem to win and win and win, it would be difficult for me to say the Cardinals will win this game. But I think... A lot of people like people are saying you win 17 in a row this late in the season, anything could happen. So, touche, anything could happen. Um, I just don't know if they'll win. I, I, you know, if they did, I'd be pretty happy. I would, uh, I would love that. I think that would be great. Um, then you have what the Giants next round, so it'd be tough. I mean, like I said, a lot of people wanted to see San Francisco kind of lose already, they just. Uh, they, had like the best season they've had since like 2000 or 1905. It's ridiculous, right? Since 1905. So I don't know how they did it with the talent they have. It's not really there, but good for good for San Fran. And uh, so whoever plays them in the NLDS, I think will have a really good chance. In other words, um, I'll talk more baseball going forward, but I got to get to the gym and do some scholastic academic activities. So that'll be it for me today. It's been great. It's been real. Have a great rest of your day. And God bless.